Hi everyone, I'm Zachary and this is my schoolmate Cassandra. We are part of the Holy Childhood Kids. We help kids all over the world. It's all part of life at school. Study, play, pray, have fun, learn. About theater arts and video editing and growing stuff to eat. And planning for our futures and for the future of the whole world. That's where Holy Childhood comes in. Through Holy Childhood, kids all across Canada are helping to make the world a better place. So join us on an adventure around the world. We will explore the lives of children who in some ways are just like us, and in other ways they live lives that are really, really different. Together, we are the Holy Childhood Kids. Together, we can make the world a better place. The journey to the Philippines from Canada is long. Two days, including stopovers and changing planes. We fly over Canada to the Pacific and onto the Philippines. From the plane, you can see how close the Philippines is to China, Vietnam, and Malaysia. You can also see that the Philippines is really a collection of islands. 7,000 islands, in fact. The Philippines suffers from frequent volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and over 20 typhoons a year. Its natural beauty is very fragile, and so are its natural resources. Rich in mineral, timber, and marine resources, the Philippines has a long history of selling these resources off to other countries, while its own people remain poor. 96 million people live there. 80% of them are Catholic. East Timor is the only other Catholic country in Asia. Everyone seems to speak English, even though the main language is Tagalog. Although the Muslim faith is a minority today, it arrived in the 12th century, 300 years earlier than Christianity in the 15th century. When the Spanish arrived, they discovered that Manila, the capital, was actually a Muslim city. Manila is a beautiful city for tourists to visit, but it doesn't take long to get off the downtown streets and see what the slums are like. Under bridges, beside rivers, adjacent to landfills, and near railways. These are just some examples of sites where these poverty-stricken families may reside when they first come to the cities. Houses may be made from cloth, cardboard, corrugated iron, scrap wood, boxes, tarps, and rope. 44% of all Filipino children are living in poverty, equal to 12.8 million children under the age of 15. And the poverty is growing, with an additional 1 million poor children since 2003. But Holy Childhood really makes a difference for some of the kids. We did it! We have six projects going, helping out 1,400 children. We have repaired classrooms, bought books, paid for health care, and we have helped to feed many malnourished children. We also help out with religious education materials to help kids get ready for receiving the sacraments for their first time. And if we take the time to learn more and really understand what is needed, we can do more. We can save lives and make lives a lot better. The poverty used to be more in the rural areas, and it is still there. But now the poor people are moving to the cities to try for a better life and their lives can be really miserable. In Metro Manila, the most populated area with more than 11.5 million people, an estimated 1.7 million children live in slums. Everywhere you see kids working in the streets, these kids are really poor and they have to work every day to make sure their families have enough to eat. These are kids with real challenges, the quality of their water, the shortage of food, the diseases they and their parents can get, and the shortage of schools and books. The biggest problem for kids on the street is their health. Access to health services is usually very poor or non-existent. Even if they can get off the streets to try and get an education, they face many obstacles, especially the cost of tuition, books, and school uniforms. But if they don't get an education, they face life on the streets forever and that will really doom them. 
Dear friend, hi, what's up? I'm Teresa Yee of Tobigon Bahal. Our Holy Childhood Funds are helping kids get back to school and helping with the food they need as well. If the mothers could be trained to have work while the kids are in school, then the kids wouldn't have to leave school in order to work for the family. We have to look into the economic side of it. We have to look into what can women do that can augment their income or that can help uh, solve their poverty. The church has tried to educate people. Social justice is the twin to a closer relationship to God. The church teaches this message every Sunday across the 25,000 parishes throughout the country. Every Sunday, they come together as a community. They reflect on the Word of God. They share in communion. They study the social teachings of the church. And then they, they reflect on the, the situation, the social, political, economic, cultural situation in the village. And after reflections, they, they kind of decide on what action they could take together as a community for social transformation. Very few missionaries now come from rich countries like Canada. Instead, it is the Philippine sisters and priests, with the help of kids like us in Canada, who are carrying out a huge task. And they are inspiring to listen to. There is where I begin to see uh, and, and realize and experience that special call that God has for me in, in the call of people, in, in the different ways whereby people express their desire and their yearning for human development, for a better life. And they know we are helping them. As stay-at-home missionaries, we kids can assist the missionaries of the Philippines through our prayers and donations. But this is a two-way street. The kids we help, help us too. They teach us about what is most important in life. Things like having fun even when you don't have a lot of stuff. Things like the way kids love and care for their parents and other siblings. The way they work hard to help the families survive. It all begins with getting to know the kids of the Philippines a little better. So join us on this great learning adventure. Do a class project based on this video on the Philippines. Write the Canadian Holy Childhood Association to get more background. Raise some money. Holy Childhood will let you know how the money is spent. Above all, keep these kids in the Philippines in your prayers. For sure, they will be praying for you. Together, all the Holy Childhood kids of the world are forming a huge circle of love. It's where you belong.